In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove a turbine housing from an HX35. The process is the same for the HX40. What makes these things so hard to remove is the rust from the housing, the turbine housing and bearing housing locks it into place. There's several things that you can do to try and help release it. Uh, one thing that helps is if I've heard people soaking them in automatic transmission fluid. Some people say you can soak them in PB Blaster or to heat it up with a torch. All those will work pretty good, but you don't really have to do that. So I'm just gonna show you how to remove it without having to soak it. The bolts came out pretty easy. Sometimes I do break off in there. Sometimes they strip out so bad to where you can't get a wrench on them. So you just have to cut them off. The size for the bolts is a 13 millimeter. If you use the open end, you're much likely more, uh, much more likely to strip it. So make sure you use the boxed end. The best thing to do is get you a really big hammer. You don't have to hit it very hard. You just really just need the mass. So this is how long the hammer is that I'm using on this. And I'll show you how easy or how difficult this is going to come apart using this. We just want to try and hit it off evenly. So I always just take my foot, put it here to keep it from moving too far. It's a good idea now that you have it off to just inspect it for cracks. Sometimes the divider cracks and then sometimes it will crack from here back. Also if you're struggling to remove the bolts either on this side or the other side it's really just the same procedure. I just take a, a, the 13 wrench with the box end and then I take a smaller hammer and just tap it over to get it broke free. That's all it takes. And if the bolt feels tight when you're loosening it and like it's gonna snap off, the best thing for you to do is just go ahead and turn it back, tightening it and loosening it, working it in and out a little bit so that it will loosen up and not break off. Here's a good example of one that won't come out very easily anyway. So I've got it loosened up probably about five threads but it just wants to just stick right there so the best thing for me to do in this situation is just to heat this area up with a torch and then loosen up the bolt so i'll show you what that looks like and we'll see if it works Whenever you remove any of these bolts, make sure you always go back and tap it back out to the chase the threads. This will prevent the bolts from breaking off into the housing next time you go to thread the bolts back in. Because if they're having issues being tight now, by the time you work the bolts in and get them back on, get them bolted back in and on the truck, 
then it's more likely that the bolts are going to all break off when you go to remove them the second time if you ever have to remove them again also it makes it so much easier for the bolts to go back into the threads when you tap them out beforehand so the thread pitch on these is eight millimeter by 1.25 and that's the same on this flange and the other flange where the bearing housing mounts